Hi, welcome to the final week of Calm 111. The purpose of this video is to go over the expectations for this final week of our course. As you know, the big thing that is due this week is your informative speech. Please note that it is due by midnight on Saturday, December 11th. Normally for this class, things are due on Sunday, but because this is the last week of the class and the semester ends on Saturday, that is when all items for the class, including your speech, are due. So again, Saturday, December 11th, not on Sunday. So for the last several weeks, you have been working on your informative speech. This is the handout for your informative speech. It is available in the final week folder on Blackboard. This should look very familiar to you at this point. So just a reminder, you are working on your informative speech, so it should not be persuasive. It should not be narrative. So you are not trying to get us to do something and you are not telling us your life history. You are simply giving us information about the topic that you choose. Included in your speech should be a visual aid. This could be a PowerPoint. It could be a poster. It could be a prop. So sometimes students link to their speech, something that they can show us that physically. So for example, if a student did a speech on ice climbing, they might bring in some of that gear to show us during their speech. You can also use a video as your visual aid. It does need to be 30 seconds or less, and it does not count towards your overall time. It is my expectation that you have research for your speech that you cite verbally within your speech as well as submitting a reference page. I will be using the eight competencies to grade your speech. This is the same as what I've been using throughout the semester. It is the second page of this handout if you want to take another look. When you submit your final speech, you will upload it to the Google Drive and then you will share that link on the Blackboard discussion board. If this is something that you have struggled with throughout the semester, please make sure that you submit early. So if there is something wrong or something that is not working properly, you can take care of that before the due date. Something different for this speaking prompt or for this final speech is that I am expecting you to have an audience. So I'm asking you to find five adults to share your speech with. Now, I know that there is a lot going on in our world right now, and there is concern for health and safety because of COVID-19. I do ask if this is a concern for you that you contact me individually through email and let me know how you can accommodate this in some way. It would be awesome if you could have some kind of audience. So for example, I've had students say, you know, I don't really feel comfortable um, with having people over outside of my home. So could I just present to my parents and my siblings, even though my siblings aren't adults? Yep, that sounds great. But I do need to have a conversation with you about it. And I would like you to present me with a different idea if you have one of how you could have some kind of audience. If you do not contact me before the due date, then I will assume that you have figured out a way to have five adults to watch your speech. And if you don't, then you will be deducted points for that. Again, if you've made prior arrangements with me, then you will not be, you will not lose points for this requirement. <clears throat> so you, once you have your speech recorded, you do need to use either your laptop or your cell phone for recording your speech, just like with your speaking prompts. Please make sure that I can see you and your audience, as well as your visual aid. If your visual aid is difficult to see in the recording, you can take a picture of it and submit that along with your speech. Or if it is a PowerPoint, you can upload that and submit it as well. If you use a video, you could include a link to the video so that I can see it more easily. You do need to be standing during your speech. When you present publicly, that is normally how you present speeches is by standing, not by sitting down. So please make sure that you are standing and that I can see all of you so that your gestures are apparent in your recording. If you have notes, which you probably should for this final speech, you can either be holding those or you can have a lectern of some kind, which would be a table, a chair, or a music stand. You can be creative with that. 
The recording that you should you submit should be one long recording. It should not be several recordings mashed together. Realistically, when we present publicly, you get one chance and you do it the best that you can. That's what I'm expecting from this final speech. Again, once you have your speech recorded, you need to upload it to Google Drive and then share that link on the Blackboard discussion board. And links for the Blackboard discussion board are in this week's folder for the final week of class. So again, you do need to um, submit an updated outline and reference page for your speech. And then if you have any late assignments that you've been working on, those all need to be submitted if you would like them to be considered for late credit. There is a link for the extra credit paper that is listed in your syllabus if you would like to submit that before the end of class. If you have any questions or concerns regarding the expectations for this week, please make sure that you contact me earlier in the week rather than later in the week is the best way to go, especially during this final week of class, since I cannot take any late submissions. It has been really great getting to know each of you this semester, and I look forward to watching your final speeches. I hope you have a really great winter break and good luck in your future endeavors. Thank you.